Hello everyone. This is the structure of the male reproductive system. Here we will be talking about all these parts individually. Right. So let us focus on the first portion which is here I have written as ureter. Ureter is the tube, tube-like structure which is uh, passed on from kidney to urinary bladder to just flow out the urine. And uh, urinary bladder is the place where the bladder region which uh, stores urine and finally it is released through urethra. So one by one we will talk about all these portions. Here you can see the structure, the tube-like structure which is named as vas deferens which is also known as vasa differentia and commonly known as sperm duct. Now these are actually uh, muscular tube-like structure which is present on both the sides as you can see and these are generally 30 to 35 centimeters long and they pass over urinary bladder and get a little bit dilated right and that portion that swollen uh, portion is termed as ampulla a m p u l l a ampulla generally the function of vas deferens is to store nourish as well as help in conducting sperms conducting sperms from testis to uh, the entire reproductive organ and it is seen that the the next which is seminal vesicle we'll talk about the junction about uh, the junction of the seminal and the vas deferens first let us complete this portion and then we will talk about seminal vesicle is actually a lobulated sac which is around 5 centimeters long this the reddening area which i have shaded with red red ink this portion this is the structure of seminal vesicle right and this duct as you can see here this duct joins with vas deferens duct and at this region and as they combine they form the ejaculatory duct right this seminal vesicle forms around 60 to 70 percent of the semen right uh, and uh, this uh, produces the component which is a bit viscous which is uh, alkaline and also fructose secreting this duct this portion helps in secreting fructose as well as proteins like uh, fibrinogen then prostaglandins all are produced from seminal vesicle next we will talk about the prostate gland the prostate gland is large quite large than the others and it is pyramidal in shape around four centimeters in width and the height is around three centimeters it appears like the shape of a golf ball and helps in secreting thin milky alkaline substance Prostate gland helps in the formation of 20 to 30 percent of semen and it also contains calcium, phosphates, right? And helps uh, this prostate gland is actually essential for mortality of sperm. Next, we talk of bulbo urethral gland or cowper's gland now this is a very small actually one centimeter in dia it is uh, like like you have seen pea si pea uh, seed no so that is the structure that is the size of cowper's gland it's pea sized uh, lobulated gland and uh, it helps it secretes abundant of mucus that actually helps in lubricating the reproductive uh, tract during copulation right next we'll talk about the uh, urethra part urethra actually arises from the urinary bladder right and it is uh, around 20 centimeters long and we can divide it into four regions the urinary the prostatic the membranic and the penile region Right, and urethra opens at the 
penile region or the penis. Next, we will talk about the structure which helps in copulation process and that is the penis or penile region. This is the erectile copulatory organ and it has a long shaft region with the expanded tip, right? And this expanded tip is termed as glans penis, right? If we see a cross section of this glans penis, you will find that there are uh, three columns in this uh, long shaft region, uh, three columns of spongy tissue, two corpora cavernosa, two corpora cavernosa uh, columns are present and one corpus spongiosum is present. And if you closely see the glans portion of the penis, you will find that there is a loose foreskin which is present and that is uh, also given the name of prepuce p r e p u c e prepuce so with this entire uh, structure we come to the end of this discussion in the next we will talk about the cross section the ls longitudinal section and the transverse section of the testis and also uh, various functions of parts of testis thank you